Congratulations, you've landed an interview. Now the work begins. In this video, we will share some of our top tips and tricks to help you as you prepare. Let's cover some of the basics. Try to relax and let your personality come out. If your interview is virtual, make sure that you have suitable lighting, your whole face is visible, and that your background is clean and not filled with distracting objects that might steal your interviewer's attention. Don't play with your hair, fidget or touch your face and make sure to answer the question. Feel free to take time to pause and think if needed rather than rushing into an answer that has not been well thought through. Don't ramble. Give your answers clear structure. It can be as simple as making sure they have a beginning, a middle and an end or a point, example and an explanation. Either way, structure is important to clear and concise communication. Use anecdotes. Showing is always better than telling. Talking about a time when you showed compassion or empathy is much more effective than just telling your interviewer that you are a compassionate and empathetic person. The best way to see how you come across to an interviewer is to record yourself. This can be awkward and embarrassing at first, but can really help you to identify whether you are getting these simple things right. And the final basic tip is be prepared. While it's important to relax and answer questions in a natural and authentic way, preparation can help you to showcase everything about yourself that you want your interviewer to know. So what kind of questions should you expect? Tell me about yourself. Why do you want to go to medical school? Why do you think you'd be a good doctor? Why do you want to go to this medical school? What specialty appeals to you most? What are your long-term career goals? Tell me about your background in research. Tell me about your greatest achievements. What strengths would you bring to the program? What is the weakness in your application? Why did you choose the undergrad institution that you attended? What do you do for fun? What questions do you have? First, let's talk through a general exercise that can help you to prepare for any eventuality. And then we'll look at some areas where candidates often struggle or have questions. As you can see from this list, Medical school interview questions are usually very open-ended. This means that it is up to you to read between the lines, hear the subtext and shape your answer in a way that really demonstrates the competencies that the interviewer might be looking for. It's important to have plenty of material up your sleeve. We recommend getting all your application materials together, going through them and drawing up a list of all the achievements and experiences you have accumulated, both personally and professionally. Next, do some research into what the desired qualities and competencies are for a career in medicine and create another list. These might be things like patience, self-awareness or resilience. Now it's time to begin connecting the dots. For each of the competencies that you need to demonstrate, make sure you have at least one relevant experience to draw upon or a story to tell. Finally, spend some time fleshing out the details. By doing this exercise, you will familiarise yourself, not only with what you bring to the table, but also what your interviewer is looking for. You should be able to mix and match throughout your interview in a way that allows you to maximise the opportunities that open questions give you to give a complete picture of who you are and why you are a great candidate. Remember, you don't have to get everything you want to say into one answer. You just need to be prepared to highlight different aspects of your personality and skill set through each of the questions you are asked. Make sure to include current activities in some of your answers. It's great to talk about what you've done in the past, but talking about how you continue to pursue areas of interest and keep up to date with developments in the field can be extremely impressive to an interviewer. Now let's look a little more in detail at some of the questions and topics that students struggle with. Tell me about yourself. Lots of students find this tricky to answer well. Our recommendation is to answer chronologically, but focusing on your most recent history. Avoid giving too much detail about your early life unless it's relevant and central to your motivation for studying medicine. Whatever your motivation is, make sure to mention it and seize this chance to communicate what makes you unique. Many students forget that the interview is the time for revealing who you are as a person and demonstrating your interpersonal skills. Your achievements can be laid out in your application, but in the interview, your soft skills are what takes centre stage. 
talking about weaknesses and challenges you have faced. Everyone has faced challenging times throughout their life. Perhaps there are things that really stand out to you from your journey, or maybe you feel quite lucky about your experiences till now and need to think a little harder. Research and work experience are a good starting point. Maybe you can talk about the challenges of working in a team or about the disappointments you might have encountered whilst undertaking ambitious experiments. Likewise, everyone has some kind of weakness. Be prepared with one or two, but don't feel you need to tell your interviewer about all your deficiencies. Remember, it's not the magnitude of the challenge you faced or the kind of personal weakness you've identified that is most important. What the interviewer is looking for is self-awareness, resilience and determination, to name a few. Think about what you have done to overcome the challenges you faced and how you try to navigate your weaknesses and improve on yourself. This is what you really want to highlight in the conversation. Focus in on one or two things in depth and show how you are the kind of person who strives to adapt and improve. What do you do for fun? So many students are stumped by this question and waste the opportunity it presents. This is a chance to show your interviewer that you know how to unwind and prioritise self-care. Medicine is a demanding profession that can take a physical and emotional toll. While it can be great to hear that you enjoy competitive sports or volunteering, it is also valuable to share that you like baking, running, listening to music. So don't be afraid to share something that isn't serious. What questions do you have? It's so important to be prepared with some thoughtful questions for your interviewer. Be careful not to ask questions that could be answered by a quick check of the school's website or that you really ought to know as a well-informed applicant. Instead, make your questions specific and personal. Consider asking your interviewer what makes them most proud to be part of the school or what they think makes their student body stand out. If there are specific things about the course of study or faculty that you haven't been able to find out through thorough research, then now is a good time to ask those questions too. Finally, we encourage you to make use of all the resources available to you. There are people here to help you to practice and prepare. Best of luck.